Christina here. So today I'm going to be filming for you guys this haul video. Now I do not usually do hauls on my channel, but I think I should because I bought a whole bunch of crap and yeah. So the first one I'm going to start off with is Wild Fox Couture. But this one just says I love you and yeah. I'm not bragging in any way, shape, or form, but I'm just letting you guys know that my justification for buying this is the fact that it is almost spring, it has flowers on it, it's super soft, it's probably the softest sweater I've ever bought in my lifetime. So yeah. Now we're going to start off with Brandy Melville. So I got these three skirts. These here are just one in a light creamy gray type shade. This one is a black one, and then this one is a gray one. These are more of a casual skirt. These aren't that structured. These are super versatile, so yeah. So I basically got this skirt from Brady Melville. I don't know why I got it. It's plaid, so why not? So here I have these sort of long sleeve black type crop top type things. They about just reach your waist, but they look super cute, and you can pair them with these skirts that I bought. Whoa, that looks so bright. And they don't really like strangle your neckline. They just, you know, they come out a little bit and I like that. So I got these tops. This one is just a regular black t-shirt type. The crop top, it's not really that crop, so. Um, and then one in gray. This might be a different one. These two are the same style, I think. This one is just a striped one. Next, I got a floral kimono because why not? This is probably the most comfortable sweater I've ever owned. I have this one, except it's in like a light blue color. And yeah, so they're super long, they're super soft, and I did get it even though spring is coming. It is so freaking freezing in New York, like you don't know. It's super cold. And then I got this simple green jacket, which almost every single person on YouTube has. It just looks like this. This is just an olive type color, which you can pair. It's very light actually, so you can pair this with a whole bunch of things. So, yeah, I basically got basic things, if you know what I mean, or things that I could use. A lot. So I just got this like bralette type thing. This one has the little stripes in the back. I know that Laura DIY actually created, I think it's a Chio, Chio, something like that. You can make it yourself and it's a lot cheaper too. This one, I think it is, what is this, 19 bucks. So I think I'd rather make my own, but I ordered it and then she uploaded it, so what? So the first thing I got from Forever 21 was just this top. This is a crop top tank top. <laughs> the next thing I got, which I regret buying, is this ugly skirt. Like, what? Next thing I got from Forever 21 was this cute, adorable floral type bralette thing. This was actually super cheap. It was $7.80. So, yeah. This is really cute. It's usually just the most gorgeous pattern for spring. So the next tops I got from Forever 21 were just these simple crop tops. This one is actually tight enough where you can wear this with a skirt or you can wear it with some high-waisted shorts. But this is a super gorgeous pattern. And Garage also sells them. But these are pretty much cheaper. And then just these, which are probably worth like jeans or something, like, I don't know, springtime, floral. Next things that I got from Forever 21 are just accessories, and this, these are two tights. These are just um, a regular pair of black tights, and then these are kind of like these fish net type ones. Then I got some socks, because like daisy socks, why not? Then I just got this gold chain, because like... If you ain't talking money, I don't want to talk. And then I also got this rose type looking one. And then the last two things from Forever 21 um, are these two sweaters. This is actually a cra a, cra a crap <laughs> crop crop sweater, which I would love to wear on those chilly spring days, which are very common in New York. And then this lace looking one with a lipstick on it. This next thing here is from Urban Outfitters. This is a button down circle skirt. This one is actually a thinner material than I was hoping for it to be but it still looks super pretty. And then this last one is this black circle skirt. This one is the Pins and Needles ones, which I was talking about in my last haul. If you can check out my birthday haul, that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, this is the same thing. Way more structured than the Brandy Melville one. And then, I don't know, it just looks really cute. And you can wear this a whole bunch of things. This is probably a staple, and I'm so happy that I bought it. This is just a nice woven, really nice and warm um, cropped sweater, which will be adorable, especially for those warmer spring days, as I said before. <sighs> so the second part of my Urban Outfitters order came in the mail just now. <sighs> I punched myself in the throat. And then I got this sweater, just because I like the design of it. I mean, yeah, just a sweater. These thigh high socks because once again it's super freezing in New York and I think I could wear this with a whole bunch of things. I don't know. 
So the next thing I got here is this sort of crop top. It is like this tank and then it just has those cut out side things. And then I got this flowy type spaghetti strap pink, yellow, gray, ruffly top, which is, I guess it's also cropped, which I can also wear with high waisted shorts or my circle scarf. And then I got this Tiffany blue, since that is probably one of my favorite colors, um, thing. I don't know how to explain it. It just looks like that. Why did I get all this stuff? Because I love clothes. This is basically a super cropped top thing that you would wear like this. And I would probably wear a high, low type skirt or something like that, or um, once again, high waisted shorts because my life revolves around high waisted shorts, which I don't own yet. I grew out of like my other shorts from last summer because, honey, I ordered this. I'm back, cropped white top, but it actually has like this woven type stitching, which makes it really a lot nicer than a regular plain cropped t-shirt. And last but not least, I got these over the knee, woven white socks. These are super comfortable, soft, and useful. Then the last couple things that I got were from Choey's. So this first piece is a Vogue beanie. I'm not cool yet. This one smells like something that's been in the wash for too long. I don't know. Next thing that I got is this skirt. This is a kind of leather type skirt, and then it has just these two folds over the Legs, which Kendall and Kylie Jenner actually wear a lot, you know, well, have worn. So, since I am not one of those models with the perfect nose or like the perfect face for these, these glasses just will not look good on me. So, they have a bunch of other glasses. I just picked up these because these are like the cat eye ones and they are matte on the top and then just like regular sunglasses. So, let's see if these look good. Oh my gosh. My favorite thing from this whole entire thing is the beanie just because it's like, put that white thing on you. So that basically concludes my haul. Please definitely check out um, just like just the stores that I shopped at. If you see anything that you guys like, let me know in the comments below. Any ideas that you guys have with any of the clothes or if any of the clothes you're really interested in or you really like, definitely go check down the links down below. I will have Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, Choey's, and Brandy Melville linked down below. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Please let me know in the comments below the different things that you guys liked from this haul.